Baseball in the Burrows is presented by Verizon. Verizon is going ultra, so you can too. Another trade deadline in the books for the Mets and the Yankees. And joining us to discuss their moves is New York Post's Greg Joyce. Greg, let's get straight into it because Brian Cashman and the Yankees made some major moves over the last week. So how would you rate their business? Yeah, I think they, they did a lot of important moves. Uh, they addressed some holes that they definitely need to shore up before the deadline. Uh, they got Andrew Benintendi, Benintendi to fill the hole in left field. Uh, Frankie Montas to bolster their rotation and Scott Efros and Lou Trevino, uh, Trevino to bolster their rotate, uh, sorry, their bullpen. Uh, they also got Harrison Bader uh, to be their center fielder, a strong defensive center fielder, but they had to give up Jordan Montgomery. So that kind of uh, thins their pitching, starting pitching depth a little bit, had to give up something uh, important to get Bader. And Bader is uh, currently injured on, on the IL, expect to be back in September. He's dealing with plantar fasciitis. Uh, but they think he can be a really strong defensive center fielder and contribute in September. Uh, and Montas is a guy that can be on the high end of the rotation to address some concerns there. So it seems like they kind of filled every every one of their needs that they, they needed to ahead of the deadline. That's, thank you for saying that because one of my friends uh, jokingly said that the Yankees' biggest move was shipping out Joey Gallo. But, you know. <laughs> that too, that too. <laughs> Could All help right, so with the change of scene. <laughs> so let's go over to the Queens because the Mets, they were a little bit more quiet than their neighbors in the Bronx. Uh, are you concerned with their lack of trades? I don't know about concern. I think, uh, I mean, they definitely needed a bullpen piece. They did get one in Michael Givens. Uh, they seemed to need a lefty, but they didn't get that. They didn't want to give up uh, any of their top prospects to get a deal done. Uh, they also could have addressed catcher with Wilson Contreras, but he stayed put with the Cubs. Uh so, I mean, it would be interesting down the stretch how their bullpen uh, kind of factors out with not making any big moves there. Uh, they could put, you know, if, when Tyler McGill gets back healthy, he could, he'll he's expected to go to the bullpen. David Peterson could become a, a threat, a lefty threat out of the bullpen. So they have some options there, but uh, definitely didn't impact the bullpen at the trade deadline quite how I know a lot of their fans were kind of hoping they would. But uh, they did get Jacob DeGrom back yesterday for the first time this season. That's a big boost. So we'll see if that's enough. All right, so the underlying question is, are the Mets and Yankees in a better spot post-trade deadline, and what grade would you give both teams? Yeah, I think they're, they're both definitely better off than they were ahead of the deadline. Uh, like I said, the Yankees kind of shored up some of their needs. That you know, I mean, They have the best record in baseball, uh, had such a great start, and over the last month or so, they've started to show a little bit cracks here and there, especially in the rotation, and had some key injuries in the bullpen, so getting guys there to address that has been huge. Uh, I think you know, I'd probably give them an A minus. Maybe the Montgomery giving up Montgomery could could hurt them uh, starting pitching depth wise. You know, if everybody stays healthy over the last two months, then then getting Bader is worth it. But they're kind of they kind of thinned their starter depth a little bit when they were when they made all those trades. Um, as for the Mets, I would say you know I think they were a little bit gun shy about giving up any of their top prospects after doing that for, uh, with Pete Crow Armstrong last year to get a few months of Javi Baez. Uh, you know, I'd give them maybe a, a B. B minus just, you know, for the trade that they did, did make, but then also the trades they didn't, you know, they're in a position to, to kind of make a, a run at a World Series this year. And, you know, time will tell if they if they did enough or if, if they were left uh, kind of need more down the stretch. An A minus and a B. I wish you were one of my high school teachers. Uh, thanks for your time, Greg. Thanks, Brandon. Baseball in the Burrows is presented by Verizon. Verizon is going ultra, so you can too.